This is course number four for the Patchwork um, Planner Club members. And to this for this course, I thought, um, let's go over the journaling pages and kind of explore what we can do with them and um, some ideas outside of um, outside of just the printable. I had a little brain stop right there. Anyways, um, so okay, I have gone ahead and opened the file. So if you look at the top left hand corner, you will click on file and then you'll open up your file um, for the journals, journal pages. Now these are um, ones that you can print to just kind of journal and write about your projects. These right here are open-ended, so you can write, you know, techniques that you're interested to give a try or things that you're looking out for, or great ideas, just random thoughts and bits of information that you want to keep handy in a cute little format. So those are those pages. Now then we've got additional planning pages, or I mean journaling pages, and this is where you can um, actually keep a journal of the projects that you have finished. In this top area you can see there's a big empty box and that is so you can um, place a picture there. So I believe it fits a 3 by 5 or 4 by 6 possibly even. You can check that prior to printing out your picture and putting it in there. If this is the editable version, version you might be able to upload an image and stick it right there directly. So you could give that a try as well. These pages um, print off multiple times, punch holes in the side, stick it in a binder, top loaders work great, they're clear, you can put multiple pages front and back. Um, this is a great way to keep track of, again, you put your picture at the top, when you started it, your finish date, <clears throat> the size. If it was made for someone, a lot of times we um, sew things for others. And we never, you know, remember who it was for and what the occasion was, if you're anything like me. Anyways, um, so you can quickly jot down the information there and then give a little background on the backstory of um, the project itself. And then we've got some blank pages for you as well. And then here is another page you can stick maybe... Um, you know, something that you're thinking of doing or trying out or additional pages that would go along with that first journaling page. Maybe some different ideas to do for the next projects. Maybe some additional supplies you might need or notes and in, um, in steps that you've taken or would take a little bit differently if you were ever, ever to make that pattern or project again. That is a quick rundown of the pages. Now, also, there are some labeling pages. I don't have those pulled up at the moment, but I thought I would just quickly go over those. Those are great for um, printing off once and then keeping them on hand somewhere where you can lay fabric directly on top of it, trace it using, you know, window tracer, light table, or whatever you've got handy with a pencil. Um, a mechanical pencil works great because it stays sharp the whole time. And then um, using that as your outside border and then stitching directly on those lines. And then, um, you know, you can write additional information with your pencil or even use a black um, permanent marker. A Sharpie marker is great. They make some fine point um, tips and those are perfect. They even come in different colors if you're into that. I found that those wash well and they stay well, um, they stay dark for um, quite a few washes as well. So um, anyway, so trace them with markers or pencils. You can stitch on your trace lines, cut the fabric out, and then put it onto the back side of your project or quilt as a label itself. So those are super, super handy. Um, again, all of these pages you can print off multiple times, build your own binder. This journaling one is great to add on. Um, and then you've got these note pages as well. So you can add your story of the um, project or quilt in your, in your planner. 
<clears throat> and that I believe is it for this course. The next course is number five and that is how to keep things organized and put all together.